All right, I'm going to do a kind of a quick review on Star Trek Online, if it's worth coming back to in 2023. I think it is. The game is free to play, but you know how free to play games are. They, they are a cash shop. They will sell you anything and everything they can to make money, and a lot of the times it feels like it is a pay to win. For example, tier 6 ships are really powerful and like almost end game ships but you can buy them for cash and the cash converts into the zen so right here anyway so that's one of the downfalls of that is the game is you know monetized a lot uh they game one of the good things about the game though is they do have a lot of events there is a lot of content, so like for example, episodes are like missions and everything, just kind of like the TV series. You know, season one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. So there's lots of content. On this particular character, I have not gone through all the content because I've done it a couple of times on my main character as it comes out, and I uh, just don't want to do it again. Uh, the equipment that drops once you're at level 65 fleet admiral is decent for just regular type of everyday soloing and stuff but if you're going to be doing like advanced dungeons or tfos you're going to want to either get the stuff with that's like purple or advanced purple blue like this or golded out like this color for your items on your ships which again is another cash shop right here. You can buy upgrades and stuff like that, ship bundles. See, it comes with, uh, like this particular bundle comes with um, ship upgrade token and then item tokens and so on and so forth. So it's definitely a cash shop monetized big time. Uh, the game was on life support for a very, very long time before Gearbox bought them out and before Paramount Plus started putting out new Star Trek series, like, you know, Strange New Worlds. And don't want to mention Discovery because I don't like that show very much. It's not really Star Trek-y. I'm not going to get into that. But, um, you know, so it's been, it, it's needed some attention for a while. Uh, right now I'm doing Endeavors, which are kind of like dailies, and I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the space combat really quick here. Go save this guy over here. I'm doing a story mission at the moment, and he seems to be um, inept on keeping himself out of uh, Tholian webs. Anyway, so... This is some of the space combat. I'm on one of my DPS tunes. Um, taking out Tholians. So, you got all your little abilities and everything that you can do. Uh, one of the downsides, which I know they've been trying to fix for a long time, is, is the latency issue and, and the ability delay for when you hit a button. And, and sometimes it takes a few seconds to... Um, uh, for it to fire off. So I know they've been working on it because everybody's been screaming about it in-game. In so right now there's a little cutscene going on and, and, and the episodes are voice acted. So they do have voiceovers and stuff. So it's, you know, if your MMO doesn't have voice acting in it these days, um, it's really at a disadvantage because people expect it. I mean, I've been watching Hogwarts Legacy from other streamers, and they've got voice acting. So, anyway, um, so it does have voice acting. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my perks, my bonus points, and it's account wide, which is nice. So, all my ships are now going to get a bonus to turn rate so it makes them turn faster and allows me to bring my guns around and, and go pew pew um, endeavors like I said are dailies but if you start an endeavor out on one tune 
make sure you finish it up on that tune. So like Defeat Tholian's Ground, I finished that up on a different tune today. I just destroyed the Tholian ships today on this tune. And now I need to go and find a spot where I can farm 20,000 phaser damage on ground. And I'm going to exit this episode. And log into another one of my tunes. So there's lots of ships that you can, you know, earn in-game, game events, group events, and stuff like that. Um, for example, they're running a, a event right now. Um, and at the end of the event, you get a new ship, you know, type of deal. They, they run other things, as you can see. I've completed that. I've gotten the reward. They've got winter events, 13th anniversary events. And I've been playing the game since it launched in 2012, so I've got a lot of stuff. So upside is a lot of content. Um, it's got a group binder and stuff, which actually works. Uh, sometimes it can take a little while, but lots of content, lots of dungeons. I'll show you some of the dungeons. Like these are all dungeons right here. That you can queue up for and stuff. And they got their own little modes and stuff like that. And you get bonuses. Just kind of like any other MO. Downside, like I said to the game, it's heavily monetized. Um, and it's free to play. But if you want to do anything, you're going to be spending some money on the game to get yourself, you know, fitted out and so forth. So, and like I said, Gearbox bought them. They've given the game some attention. And it's improved a lot just within the last year. Like I said before, it was it was literally on life support. But it's going to be around for a while. Uh, just because it's getting money from Gearbox. And it's also, um, there's interest in Star Trek. You've got Star Trek Picard. You've got Discovery. You've got uh, Strange New Worlds. So it, it, it's there. So these are all my tunes. She's a Vulcan. Um... She's a Romulan, a playable Romulan. You can play an Orion, Klingon Empire. Um, this this is a Trill. So I'm going to log into Reyna. She's a playable joined Trill. So I'm going to log into her and we're going to go... And I'm going to go finish up that daily on Nimbus 3. And deal X amount of phaser damage. Anyway, so I... at some of the... Ups and some of the downs on the game. But another thing I like too... Is you can change the map that you're on. Like right here, I got 20 players on this map. I don't like that. I'm going to change to a lesser one. Because that means I can do my 20,000 phaser damage really quick. Because there's less people. But as you can see... There's, you know... You have all sorts of different type of weapons. You've got miniguns, you got rifles, you got pistols. So the game is definitely very customizable to what you want to play with and stuff. And um, there's lots of guides out there and stuff. And, 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 you know, best in slot, best ship, and everything like that changes, you know, whenever, whenever the devs feel like changing something. So you got items that can buff your damage, like the little tribbles, you know, so, Oop, I want that one, I want the one that's got the two and a half percent bonus energy damage, so, anyway, it's definitely worth checking out, doesn't, go, shouldn't cost you anything unless you want to pay for it, but you're not going to get the full effect of the game unless, you know, you're, you know subscribe or buy a lifetime subscription or so forth but as you can see this is my in the way team so anyway i think we're going to cut the video there and get this posted let me know what you think